guys and welcome back to another mCreator Procedure Tutorials. Today what we're going to be looking at is the directional blocks for all of the procedure blocks in the uh, application of time of the recording. We'll start with the Minecraft Components tab. There are two couple, well there's a couple blocks in here. There's the actual direction one. This one is down. Uh, it by default has options for other values and you'll be using that quite a bit and then there's the dir uh, trigger direction face this is normally used for blocks specifically uh, it does have the require the um, direction dependency to actually use it you can kind of see the direction dependency on this particular uh, trigger that we have so that's that would actually be required for that particular one so there's another uh, particular block that is found under the Minecraft component. It's used in these blocks here where it says Direction Integrator. Uh, those particular blocks are found under the Minecraft components. They're a little bit further down uh, below the thing where it says Direction Integrator. You can find these ones here. Uh, generally, if you're using multiple directions, then you would basically use that particular block to help specify certain things. So now let's take a look at the actual directional procedure tab and we'll go over the particular blocks here. So we have opposite of trigger slash direction face. You can actually replace anything in that value with a different directional block, uh, such as up, drown, or the iterator as well. Uh, those basically will do the opposite of that particular value. There is also random direction, so you can set a random direction. Uh, the random direction will just pick a random, literally, direction, northeast, southwest, uh, etc. And then we have any direction for value 1 and value 2 on the same axis. So, uh, for example, if y or the y-axis up and down would be the same uh, same axis. Uh, north and south would be, and so would west and east. Uh, the next two blocks are basically for running it from all sides. Sometimes you might want to run something from all sides of the actual block or entity or something like that. Uh, these two blocks here will basically allow you to do that. You would use the iterator uh, block inside your script and then it will allow you to uh, run specific code for each direction as that particular one or each direction on the horizontal, which is basically allows you to uh, run it on the northeast, southwest side. So the all directions is for up and down as well, where the horizontal uh, one over here is basically for just the x-axis so or the uh, y-axis for both uh, northeast south and west so those are kind of important blocks I haven't played around with them too much but the other ones allow you to offset the direction um, offset the direction axis uh, I think this has to do with uh, math based things so like more position based uh, things based on the access point of the block or item or whatever it is. So you can use the slash target slash face or other directional parts as well. And basically it's coordinate based things for the actual direction. So you have each block for X, Y, and Z for offsetting based on the direction size. So those are also those blocks. And then there is the last two blocks, which allow you to rotate the uh, particular block based on the Y axis. So it only supports uh, Northeast, South, and West. Uh, this is the clockwise one. So allow it you to rotate something clockwise. And there is also the counterclockwise one which is a little bit different it just rotates the opposite direction on the y-axis so basically northeast south and west as well so those are the main blocks there you can again replace any of the trigger direction with any other block that you pretty much want so those are the options that you have under that tab Next, what we have is under the world data, there is redstone. It also supports uh, the directional types as well. If we look under block data, uh, we have a few different blocks. The first one that you'll notice is get direction of and then provided block state. You can put any particular block in there that supports block states. So the exact location or provided block state, uh, those are optional. Uh, based on what ones you can also put variables in there. So all different types of blocks are supported Well, the yellow ones at least 
and then scrolling a little bit down we have a basically a block state we can set the block state of a certain thing it also supports the direction so we can use that particular direction block in that one and then scrolling a little bit further down we have get block direction at x y and z so basically that would allow you to get the block direction at a certain position uh, very similar to this one when you're using the other one with the coordinates for the block state so basically the same thing as that uh, there are uh, under the block management there you can actually set the direction uh, for the northeast south and west you can also use other variables as well to get the exact value that you want so those are the basic block ones here and we'll move on to the next step so i will cover the basic entity stuff uh, direction the first one is for entity direction you can set the entity direction for some of these uh, that will be the same as the north, east, south, and west, that particular block. And then there are a few different ones, which is yaw. Uh, this is a little more advanced. I will cover this in a separate tutorial because it does require a little bit more uh, information that I can't fit into this video. But for now, if you want to actually get the value of this particular block, what you can do is you can actually uh, create text and print it out to the actual... Uh, console so the console for the um, test environment and when you're actually roto rotating you can put it on a player update tick or something like that and you can actually see where the entity is rotating so it will also print out both on server and client side so make sure that you run it on whatever side you want uh, there's also one called pitch again that will be in the same video that I do the y'all one in uh, it's a little bit different than what most people are used to so those are your two directional ones uh, for your um, entity data. Uh, there's also a ray tracing one, which allows you to get the block face of what the block that the entity is actually looking at. So you can set up the ray tracing through this one. I'll create a tutorial for ray tracing in a future video, but uh, at the moment, this is I just want to make a notation for that. Next, what we have is uh, the entity management. Uh, scrolling down at the bottom, you will find a block that says set rotation of event slash target entity, yaw and pitch. That's for these two blocks up here. Again, this is pretty straightforward. You would be setting the yaw and pitch based on the direction there. Uh, there isn't any other directional blocks in the uh, entity management tab so you would have to work with the on pitch for the entity rotation we then have the energy and fluid storage uh, these there's a certain directional block in here that is only for the forge energy and forge fluid it's called any direction this can't actually work for any other particular uh, rotation type so it won't be cross compatible with block rotation or anything like that specifically for the rotation here so we'll move on to variables now and under the variable custom variables tab you have some directional variables these are supported for both global and local variables so basically if you create a local variable you can set the variable name you can't call it direction because direction is already being used by the game so make sure that you call it something other than that but you can select direction for the type it'll be orange for the color matching the actual rotation type if you update the blocks by deleting them you can actually see that the local variable is set up and then you can put your directional blocks onto these variables and use them later in your script so there's also global variables. So if we go to the global variable tab and then create one, we can actually see that there is a directional type and you can create a direction. We'll call it my variable again, or my direction. And then we can save it to any of the different types of tabs here. So that basically sets the direction up here so you can set the default value. Probably one of the hardest parts of the direction part is the operation and the uh, few other blocks in the advanced tab. So you can use the operator to test for certain values, compare the values between basically directions. There's also the return block. This is probably the more advanced part. So for example, if you want to return a value or direction in a procedure, maybe you want to specify a certain thing and then run it in another script then you can basically use the return block it will return the value 
and then you can call it procedure with a return value and you can get the return value from the return block in a separate procedure. Uh, to do this, you would probably do something like an if statement, compare it, and then you would compare it to a direction, something similar to this. You can also use it directly in the actual script. And then we have a dependency name, which is a rotation. It does report, re require a specific dependency. Um, I don't really know how to use these particular blocks so much. I know sometimes there are certain ones that you can use with specific names in certain procedures. But uh, just to show you that it does require direction for it to match. Okay, so that's basically all the directional stuff at this current point in time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.